Hey, what's up, DIYers? Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. We're talking Craftsman tools today. And in today's video, we're going to give you a full review on our brand new Craftsman sawhorses we just purchased. They're compact and pretty cool. You might like them. Let's get started. All right, DIYers outside. And here is the box or packaging that these sawhorses came in. It's about maybe three to four feet tall. What we'll do is take it inside to the workbench and unbox it. All right, DIYers at the workstation now. And the workbench on the other side of the jet ski. As you can see, this is my mom and dad's jet ski in-house for the winter for DIY repair videos. And here in about a week, this will be rolling out and heading to the lake. However, again, let's go ahead and unbox our saw horses and give you a full review. As we make our way around the jet ski, hey DIYers, in the event that you are into skateboarding, down below in the comment section as well as the description section will be links on how to build your own custom logo boards and mount them on the wall. And this is our primary workbench. As you can see, pretty busy. We are, again, doing a lot of repair videos on the jet ski and boat. And what we'll do is head to our backup or secondary workbench. However, first I went ahead and opened up the box and I'm going to remove this packaging. And there are our two sawhorses. We bought two of them. And down below in the comment section, as well as the description section, will be a link on where to purchase these. And in our case, they were $25 a piece. All right, DIYers. Hey, real quick, before we head to our secondary workbench and give you a full review of the sawhorses, I did want to hop online to show you the listing. And that is where we are right now. Again, Craftsman Metal Sawhorse Folding. And here is the product or part number. And to the left over here, you can see the sawhorse. And in this picture, it is standing up. It is not folded down to its very compact and carry or travel configuration. You can see all four legs extended. And again, I just wanted to show you this as it will provide some good information. And I will scroll down here. Again, the brand is Craftsman High Speed Steel with a metal surface. And you can see what's included. This is just one sawhorse for this price. Right now it's 22% off. It's list price, which is $32. And it's down to $24.98, which is awesome. And I'm going to scroll down right here. And here we are about this item. It is durable. 1,000 pound load capacity per pair. That's very important. Not just one sawhorse. A pair, which means two. Again, 1,000 pound load capacity. And that's very impressive for the size of these sawhorses and how compact they are. Below that, the convenience of side latches, which will enable you to stack the two single units together for easy carry and compact storage. That is one of my favorite aspects of this sawhorse, and I will show you that on the workbench. Below that, easy to use anti-slip rubber pads create friction on the surface while cutting, and folding legs enable quick setup and breakdown. And we scroll up just a little bit, give you a couple other views of the pictures provided. Check that out. Here we are at the secondary workbench, aka just a wood table, but I'll tell you what, it comes in very handy when the primary workbench is in use and it's full of DIY projects. And again, here are the Craftsman Sawhorses. We purchased two of them. It is very important that the listing only has one, so in the event that you want two or a pair of sawhorses, you have to select two. I've got my tape measure. I am going to provide several measurements as we go through this review. What I'll do next is carefully remove the cardboard packaging. You got this little flap here. Don't just rip this cardboard off the sawhorse. You do not want to damage your brand new sawhorse. Carefully direct your attention to this portion here, undo it, and carefully remove that packaging or cardboard. I'll do that now. And real quick, what I did was just carefully undo that little portion there. And I do want to show you just some info on the actual cardboard. And again, that little latch right here will come in later in the project that we can pair or connect the two sawhorses together for travel. And a thousand pounds. Again, as you can see right below that, it says per pair. And there are some measurements or dimensions of the sawhorse itself. At this point, I've got one sawhorse unpackaged, and I do want to show you the measurement from left to right in the closed or retracted configuration, and just over 31 inches. And this right here is the top bar of the sawhorse itself, and on each end is a little rubber grip. Again, on both sides. And here is the edge or outer portion of the sawhorses. 
and on the right hand side is the little latch again that will come in handy i'll show you that here at the end of the video next i'll give you the measurement of the side here as you see again just over three and a half inches and that's the same on either side Next, I flip the sawhorse upside down. I do want to give you the measurement of the legs and all of the legs. Again, four of them will be the exact same size and measurement. And they are just over 27 inches, almost 27 and three quarters inches. Again, that is each of the sawhorse legs. And a quick reposition of the camera. Again, the sawhorse is upside down laying on the workbench or table. And I do want to show you how these legs are extended up and locked in place with the mounts on either end of the sawhorse. Go ahead and carefully grab your leg. And as you shift the leg up, you have a tension or spring-loaded tab that will spring outward in the extended position when it makes its way to this hole and is properly aligned. As you see here, you'll hear the click and you'll see that little spring-loaded tab jump out as shown there, pretty cool. And to retract them, all you have to do is carefully push that tension tab in and simultaneously shift the leg out of the little hole and down to its retracted and stowed position. However, I'm going to extend all legs Check that out. And I'll flip the sawhorse upright. And again, on the very bottom portion of all four legs is a rubber pad. So it'll be difficult to move or allow the sawhorse to slide when it's in use. And I'll grab my tape measure and I'll move this a little further back on the table. And I am now going to give you the measurement from the far left leg all the way to the far right leg. And it is just over 33 and a half inches long. And I will move the camera in a way where you can see that. Again, just over 33 and a half inches long from the left leg all the way to the right leg. That is impressive. And what I'll do now is measure the distance between the front leg and the rear leg to show you that measurement. And that will come out to 14 and a half inches. Check that out, as you see here. Again, 14 and a half inches in between the legs. Taking a step back, I do want to show you just a quick view of the sawhorse itself standing on all four legs as shown here. And again, the bottom portion of each leg has this little rubber pad, making it very difficult to slide or move when in use. Pretty nice. And there's the Craftsman name again. There are the little spring-loaded tension tabs that allow the legs themselves to lock in place with this mount. And when you need to retract your legs, all you do is push this tension tab in and simultaneously shift the legs to the stowed configuration. I'm impressed. And DIYers, real quick, breaking the action, and the measurement from the very top bar all the way down to the table is exactly 29 inches. In other words, when your sawhorse is resting flush on the ground or surface that it is on, it will be standing 29 inches tall. What I'll do now is open up the second sawhorse and show you my favorite part of this pair. And I did just that. The second sawhorse is unpackaged and coming to the right side. This little latch here, plastic, and it's thick plastic, so it'll last a very long time, which is nice. I'll stow that. And this side has it as well. However, you will actually have to have one sawhorse turned this way to allow this little latch here to grab a hold of the little hook on the bottom or joining sawhorse. And I will show you that real quick because again, this is my favorite part of this pair and how compact it becomes and friendly it becomes to travel with and store. Another quick reposition of the camera. And again, I am going to carefully 
flip the sawhorse back upside down and stow each of the legs. Again, by pushing in that tension tab, simultaneously shifting the leg down. And when stowing, you will have to do the same side at the same time. In other words, you don't wanna lower this leg and then lower this leg over here. You want to lower both legs on each side before moving to the other side. As shown there. And I'm going to turn it back this way. Again, to show you how the two sawhorses connect to each other for storage and travel. And I'm going to turn this one upright like that. And I will come in with this side. And you can see basically on the very bottom right here, you can see two tabs sticking out and then you've got two recessed or indented slots from the manufacturer. The manufacturer during engineering of this created these slots to allow the tabs on the other sawhorse to properly position themselves to lock together, which is cool. So again, here is a closer view of those little tabs and slots. And I'll do my best to give you a good view of this. And I showed you the small little rubber pads on the most outer edge of each of the top sawhorses. And this is where those come in handy as you connect the two together. Again, those little tabs and slots connect the two together as shown here. And once they are secured together, I will shift this over to give you a better view of it. Check that out. All I'm going to do is come up and lock it in place. I will also come to the opposite side and do the same. You don't want to just lock one side, as shown there. Check that out. From here, I can just carefully pick it up, and it can be carried just like this. How awesome is that? There's each side. I can either hang it on the wall upright like that or on its side like this. Or I can just set it on the workbench or somewhere where it can carefully and safely be stored without being harmed or damaged. And again, DIYers, that's really our favorite aspect or design feature of this pair. Again, compact and made of metal and can withhold a thousand pounds as a pair. Again, being this small and compact, that's very impressive. And DIYers, these will come in very handy as the years go on and our DIY projects continue. Now to a close-up view, again coming to the side, and how nicely these two sawhorses fit together because of the mold and design of the red plastic mounts here and those thick plastic latches. Very impressive. I like them. And what I'll do is give you a measurement from this side to that side, just so you can see that in the event that you have that question. And there it is, again, from left to right, when the two sawhorses are paired and secured together, just over 31 inches, almost 31 and a half inches. And down below in the comment section, as well as the description section, will be a link on where to purchase these as well as a Craftsman tape measure. Coming into the pegboard, and all these items are open and left over from previous DIY repair videos. And here is our Craftsman section of the pegboard. And down below, we will also provide links on a few reviews of these tools, including that heat gun, the impact gun, the staple gun, and maybe a few more. And hey DIYers, in the event that you are not a Craftsman fan or you are discrediting Craftsman as a tool company, just remind yourself who the mother of Craftsman is, aka the parent company. The parent company or mother of Craftsman is Stanley Black and Decker, aka the big dog in the industry of tools. So keep that in mind. In addition, guess who Craftsman's sister is? DeWalt. So anytime anyone talks bad about Craftsman or discredits Craftsman, well, DeWalt takes offense to that because again, DeWalt is Craftsman's sister. And under the Stanley Black & Decker umbrella, for those that didn't know. 
DIYers, thanks for watching. Hey, do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. DIYers, if you're still watching, we are about to unbox and give a review on our brand new battery operated Sawzaw with the blades. We'll post that link below as well. Thanks again for watching.